Good morning. I'm planning on hooking up a Wi-Fi adapter to my GrowWatt 5000 watt inverter today. Um, even as an IT professional, this GrowWatt adapter was not the easiest thing to install in my other one. So I'm going to do a quick video on how to install it, how to configure it on your computer and your cell phone. And then I'm going to shoot another quick video on the web interface how I use it remotely to optimize my solar production and not waste solar energy or propane when, when my batteries are fully charged. So I'm gonna show you guys how to install this Wi-Fi adapter. So the tools we're gonna need is the GrowWatt Wi-Fi adapter. I bought this along with all of my inverters and solar panels from Signature Solar. I've been really happy with those guys and their products. And this 3000 watt inverter has been excellent. I ran it all summer long, ran the AC and the camper. Um, it was out here in this hot storage container working in the 90 degree temps and this thing purred like a champ all summer long. But you're gonna need the grow watt adapter. You're gonna need a screwdriver because you're gonna fasten it to the inverter with these small screws. You're gonna need a laptop. Um, hopefully with internet access and um, the other thing I want to point out is you see these codes and things on the side of the box don't throw the box away because you're gonna need these when you install it on the cell phone app so let me show you on the bottom of the inverter it's pretty straightforward there's a port there a little USB port that's labeled uh, Wi-Fi GPRS that's where you're gonna plug in your Wi-Fi adapter and then we're gonna fasten it with those screws so it doesn't fall out. So after dropping the screw like four times and having to go into the camper and get my reading glasses because I can't see anything up close anymore, I've got it installed and you can see when you first install it, the light there where it says key is blinking red. Now inside of that hole is a little reset button that we're gonna have to hit. So our next step is going to be to hit that reset button, which is going to activate a Wi-Fi network on this GrowWatt stick. And then we're gonna connect our computer to the Wi-Fi network that is broadcasted from this GrowWatt Wi-Fi adapter. And all that's going to allow us to do is plug in the settings to put the GrowWatt Wi-Fi adapter onto our own Wi-Fi that you run at your house. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on our 2.4 gigahertz network and, and I'll show you how to do that. So as you can see on my computer screen here, you can see my Wi-Fi networks and I do have really awesome internet, even though I'm out here where I can't get electricity, I'm out in the middle of nowhere. I have fiber optic internet provided by the Nun phone company. So I get um, really, really fast internet, which is awesome because I'm an IT guy and I definitely need it. But as you can see there, you can't see the Wi-Fi network that's being broadcasted by the um, GrowWatt adapter yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over there and we're gonna push that little reset button and it's gonna start blinking a different color and broadcasting its own network. So what I did is I took this little piece of wire and I pushed it inside that hole where the light is for just a second. If you hold it in there for five seconds, it will actually reset the settings back to factory on the grow watt. So when you're first installing it, just push it in there for about a second take it out and you'll see that the lights blue now let's go over to the laptop okay now that I have turned the Wi-Fi receiver on on the grow watt adapter you can now see that it is broadcasting this other Wi-Fi network right here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect to that and then we're gonna configure the settings for our local Wi-Fi onto that adapter. 
as you can see it finally connected it took about 15 seconds shows you're connected and you have no internet now we're going to use your browser to connect to the IP address for that Wi-Fi adapter so when you connect to the Wi-Fi network it puts your computer on the same IP subnet as the GrowWatt adapter. So what you want to do is open your browser. Your I, your computer will probably have the IP address of 192.168.10.101 and it got the IP address from the adapter. So put 192.168.10.100 into your browser settings and hit enter. And now you have the login to the adapter. The default password, which I'm going to change, is 12345678, and then I'm going to click on Login. All right, so here is the interface to the Wi-Fi router, and I'm going to show you a couple things. So once you get logged into it, in the Wi-Fi list, you should see the Wi-Fi networks at your place. So I'm gonna to connect to this Jones Compound 2.4. And I'm going to put in my password that I use for my Wi-Fi network. And I didn't record me putting my password in because I don't wanna share that over the internet. But here's one thing that I wanna point out. When you go, if you live in the US, when you go to the GrowWatt server online it sends you to server-us.growwatt.com and you need to change that setting before you restart so if you look down here on advanced settings make sure that it says server-us.growwatt.com the first one i installed did not have that us in there and it gave me some problems so um, none of these other things you should have to change, but make sure that it send you, sends you to the right server. Now, when I hit restart, what's going to happen is that GrowWatt adapter is going to connect to your local Wi-Fi, and it's going to stop broadcasting its own Wi-Fi network. So you won't be able to connect to this once you hit this button. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and close the browser. And then I'm going to go down here to my networks, my wireless networks. And I'm going to reconnect to, actually it reconnected automatically. And now I should be able to get online and add that GrowWatt adapter to their website. And it will, it, sometimes it takes that thing a few minutes, so don't be in a big hurry at this point. Okay, I'm logged on to the GrowWatt website, and I've already have one of these installed, but what I wanna do is, you don't wanna add plant, that has to do with your on-grid provider. I'm completely off-grid, so I can't enter that. What we wanna do is we wanna add a data logger. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And now here's where we need the information that was on that box. So if you don't have the box, you're going to have to unplug the data logger and take a picture of it on the back and plug this in. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the box here and I'm going to add that serial number to this. And that seems to have worked. You can see the device there. It actually pulled some data. Off. So what you want to see once you get this configured is you want to see the light blinking blue. That tells you that it has connected to your local Wi-Fi and it is also connected to the GrowWatt Shine server. I had a little bit of trouble because I miskeyed my password in there and it took me a little while to figure out that I typed it in wrong. So as long as you get it set up correctly, once it's done, it should be blinking blue. That is good. Okay, now that I have my password correct and I've added the data logger now I can switch between my two GrowWatt inverters right here here's the serial number to the 
5,000 watt inverter. And here's the serial number to the 3,000 watt inverter. And I can come down and I can look at a lot of great information. And I'm gonna show you guys a video on this, on how I use this information to um, optimize my solar input. I do like the Shine app. The phone app will just scan in this information off of your box. Again, if you threw the box away, then take a picture of this information on the back of the adapter before you plug it in. But it'll just scan that in and I haven't had any trouble adding it to my phone. So anyway, I hope that helped you guys. I know that this adapter sometimes is not the easiest thing to install. I fumbled with it a little bit. So if you like the video, please hit that like button and subscribe. I'd love to have you come on this journey with me in building my off-grid dream. Thanks a lot.